Okay, I'm back. I lied. I am on the same little section of recording because I'm a little bit hyper. I just watched the recording back and I'm a, I'm a tad hyper. So I thought I'd ride that wave and carry on. Because I know when I'm not buzzing. I don't know why I'm buzzing. It's half four in the morning. Uh, but yeah. Uh, trying to thought last because of this fucking fire is rather loud. So yeah, I know I'm boring uh, when I'm not talking, when I'm not hyper. So I'll try and get smashed off my face every time I uh, record a commentary. Oh shit, I didn't see what that was. So he was Bristol. So I haven't had a rest of my voice. So we're going to go all croaky, which is lovely. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority, fuck me, that's a big fire. That's a big kitchen as well. Priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency service button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns down the whole prison. Burns the whole prison down. Fire engine. Oh, I can click twice. This is new, I think. That's only one fire. Oh, there's the other one. Right, mouse. Okay, I get to aim a fireman's hose. I have never done this. Personal, from personal experience, it's, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about now. Right, mouse, in order to, to order your firemen to move their firemen will aim hoses at nearby fires. H. H to aim their hoses manually. You are talking my language. Can you, like, get off? Cheers, mush. Go on. Off you go. Surround the fire. Good lads. I can't believe I have to do your job for you. I have never been in a fire situation which requires me to fight said fire, so I am not the best person to be doing this. But I imagine if you attack from all angles, the, the fire will, will, will go quicker. So, what's this then? A pipe valve. That's not supposed to be there. This is a nice holding cell. So I can H to maim, aim, maim their... Oh my fucking Christ, that's pretty nice. That's a nice little toy. I like their hoses as well. That's nice. So I have to send them inside the building. That's crazy. Can't do that. These people have families. Oh, could you go any slower? H. Click H. Why isn't it? Oh, I'm clicking a rubble. H. S. Okay, you're boring. Just get in there. It's obviously not on fire anymore, is it? If it was on fire, I would never send you into your death. Don't worry. I just... I will worry. Don't worry. There's not even... F oh, there is. I lied. I swear I had more than this. Yeah, they're all down here. Come on. This hose, you could draw something phallic with some skill. What? There's no fire over here, is there? Twat. Look, look, come. Don't make me, I made me manually aim your hose. Come on. This, this, this. Right, you. Come over here. Go here. You, go here. Get in the fire. And you might put it out. There's no fire here. There is fire here. Of course there's fire here. Um, come here. Put it out. Oh, that's a phone booth. That's not fire. It is on fire. It's not on fire anymore. This is on fire. So... Oh. That must mean it's done. They put their hoses away. My god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. I turned into a pirate. Isn't Bristol and pirate the same type of language? Christ on a crutch. It's Don Palomero. 
of all the inmates. It just had to be our mob boss. Really hurting. The bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don at Palermo whilst we sort out this mess. Sort this mess out. We need to clear up this mess. I know, you just said that. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Okay. Okay. Designate a garbage zone adjacent. Garbage. Designate a rubbish zone adjacent to the road. Our workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage truck. Rubbish trucks. Bin lorry. To dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now? That they've done their job. No, they are there forever to leave their houses free for other prisoners to gaze upon. I've added more details on each of these objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective when you'll see additional instruction. <gasps> Use the boat to demolish buildings. The boulder tool can be found under foundations in the main Foundations! Get the fuck out of here, lad. There we go. Room speed running this shit. Garbage. I don't care, Jeff. Demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can pass the time. Pa pass the time more quickly by using the buttons under the clock. Okay, you can fuck off as well now. Put your hoses away, lads. Party's over. Oh, it saved. Had a bit of a freeze, it did. I think it's think she saved. It's good. Hire a couple of doctors to staff the infirmary. Where's the infirmary? Down here, lad. There we go. Fucking bang them down. Clear the burnt clear the kitchen. Optional high more workmen. That's gardeners. <laughs> this place now has six thousand gardeners. <laughs> Whoops. It's alright, it's not my money. Look at them, they're like bloody bees, bastard in bees! This is how you run an official, an efficient business. Hire this many staff. Oh, fuck it. Good work! Let's check up on our casualty. Dun, dun, dun. Nice shot, you mate. That was an orgasmic noise. What the fuck? <gasps> Where's the gangster's blood? Oh, I don't want to do any more voices and the new characters. <gasps> Donna Palermo. I cannot do a Spanish voice. Yeah. I think he's trying to say something. That was my Italian American. <laughs> Which of you cock sucking, sucking, faggot, banging rat piss motherfuckers did this? Me, see? No one did this to your pappy. It was an accident. You had that eyebrow. Nice eyebrow, bro. Shut your stinking mouth and listen good, the both of you. If I knew which of you fucks started that fucking hell my voice, I'd snap your stinking neck. But my time is done. I'm going to die in this fucking bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we've got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capiche? 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 His heart rate's increasing. We know what to do, pops. We're slowing down. Sad acoustic music because his heart rate's slowing down. Listen here, see? <coughs> Watch your fucking. Watch your fucking back. This isn't over, Nico. Whoa, 
on the infirmary, the doctors spawned. Oh, we've got to build a fucking canteen. These people are needy. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here, you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign ten guards to stations around the prison. That should be sufficient. That should be a sufficient show of strength for now. Deploy a spread of guards. Also, assign ten guards to stations around the prison. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Any time you're unsure what to do, I fucking know you've told me this before, Jeff. Deployment. Guard patrols. You can patrol... Oh, shit. You can patrol here. And here. Um, guards. Three, five, seven, seven, seven. Assign two guards to patrol it. Ooh, I burped. I'm so sorry. Apologies from the, you know, crevice, crevice of my heart. Well, JK, I don't have a heart. A sign, you shh. Thank you. No need to call him a nasty word, he did his job. We've got a lot of work to do still. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. You'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Cox, as they're known as in Swedish and English. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you have all that completed, the chefs will automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do... Oh, fuck off! Stop telling me the same thing four times in a row. I'm not that incompetent. It's all at least four cookers. Build a kitchen. Build a canteen. Well, I can just follow the conveniently placed... Burn scorch marks from the old kitchen. Shit. From the old kitchen, which was roughly here. It needs to be rough, approximately 12 metres square. Like that. I cannot remember how it was, so. Twenty meters squared. That's bloody massive. As you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble trying to find a fucking square. Well, that's all right, lad. Do you know? I I don't. I've got so many workmen that that should take like ten minutes. This. Oh, it's gonna be one big building. Oh well, I can put a wall down. Oh, I fucked up. I deleted the foundation, which now means I've got to fucking rebuild all this shit. Um, come on. Automatic life placement. Oh, that's nice. That never used to be in. Oh, yes, it did. Ignore me. But there was never an option to turn it off, you always had to uninstall them automatically. I mean, you have to uninstall them for yourself. Why are you resting in the middle of a building site? Why are you resting in the middle of a building? Stop resting! Or I'll cut you. Um, I'm not going to be too fussed on making it look even and equal and all that jazz, because it's just gonna it, it doesn't mean anything really does it because it's campaign so once you complete the mission that's it are you taking the piss lad it's got an there we go beautiful and i'll now get doors staff door oh i deleted the wall I don't think it matters because I'm putting a staff door there anyway. Um, rooms, canteen, kitchen. Hire at least eight cooks. Okay. Of sixteen and seven. Serving table. How many? Two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I will include a head for fucking hell. Get the fuck out. There's nothing in here. 
Utilities connected. No, it will burn. Um, large pipe. Gotta get these because these guys are getting aggy. It's all two benches. It's fine, have some tables. Oh, they're all gone. Thank you, prisoner. Oh, Aggie prisoner. Oh, you. F oh, okay. You can just ignore my rage. Six tapes. Six. For six. It's all right. Calm down. I need fridges. That's a lot of food. How many fridges? Oh. How many cookers? I'm a twat. This is the front, because there's the little knobs. Look at me. I'm a little knob. It's alright then. Materials. Mosaic. I don't know what increasing the quality of the floor does. Place a bin. A bin. Bin. Where's a bin? Bin. There. Bin. Yeah. Please put your rubbish on <laughs> my army of workmen. <laughs> and how many sinks? A sink. All that washing up to one sink. Place <laughs> um, a bin. Connect sink. It's all sink. Place a bin. In the kitchen as well. Connect the sink to the water mains. Hey, don't you have electricity in here? No. Soz. Now you do. Loads of it. Absolutely loads of it. Hit tons. Metric, metric shit tons, but oh, fuck me. We've got three over capacity at the moment. Oh, well, hello. You would not believe what you've just been told. Dun, dun, dun. Potatoes. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs they discovered. Packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crate. We'd suspected the Palermo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine who. Some days it isn't just rain. Doesn't just rain. It pours. Potatoes. <gasps> Cutscene. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. I like your head. The Palermos eluded the FBI for decades. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with that. Antony Palermo, the stun's oldest son, a natural ran the day to the operation. Why is he saying that? Ran the day to the day operation. Why is and why is why is he talking in first person? Nico Tomaretti wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family business when he married the Dom's for his daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Dom's son, second son, the run of the litter, fucking run, he's fucking huge, temper like a pit bull, and only half as smart. Their empire ran on a narcotics trade from Maine to Florida. Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in flagrante delicto. Lol. Oh, that's him. Oh. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sport bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. Go in the fucking car! Take my bloody bear! That was my face impression. Overnight, everything the Palermo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Apart from Vitalia, surely she's a asset. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. 
you're a French, you're, you must have been somewhere in France. You must have had at least a, a spell in France. We don't know much about her, other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. Damn right. Newman. Well, I don't think you're supposed to be there. We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. You weren't supposed to be here, and our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. Sprinklers. All oh, prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now, everyone is starving and hungry, and that's what all the shooting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs, and you ignore it at your peril. A prison is just a few meal, failed meal away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the report icon in the bottom right. Fuck no, I didn't first skip. This report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. As you'd expect, food is red for virtually everyone, but these prisoners are also very bored. And the prison is in a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as the resident president architect which needs you will try to attend first. You could install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied, and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you could just ignore your prisoners' needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. Hmm, fucking Mary. Um... Oh, I don't want to thank that poor gardener. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. And restart. Not restart, but, you know, start the recording again. Because otherwise, it takes about a fucking month for me to process. So, 23 minute videos. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. See you later, my darlings.